Father, as our Advent pilgrimage draws to a close, we relight the candles of hope, peace, and joy, and we light the candle of love. Grant us the courage to share your love, love for life and all creation, love for sinners and saints, love for the poor and the little ones. We thank you for the hope your Son gives us, for the peace he bestows, for the joy of your Spirit poured into our hearts, and for the love that redeems us and shows us the way. So we gather together in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Your spirit. Sisters and brothers, wherever you are and whatever you're going through, let's all come before the Lord in humility and gratitude. It's five days before Christmas. We made it. We're here already, Christmas. And bow your head in humility as we prepare our hearts, the crib where Jesus will be welcomed as we look into our hearts. May our hearts not be filled with sin, with barbed wires, broken glass, trash. And so we'd like to ask for forgiveness from God. And also, as a gift to the Lord, let's forgive people who have hurt us and pray for people we have hurt in any way. And let us confidently, gratefully receive God's forgiveness for our own selves. In humility we pray, I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my eggs in this hope. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, every virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Let us now include our personal thanksgiving requests, intentions, your Christmas wish. And our collective prayer that this pandemic will end soon that we will not be infected by the virus, that we come out better persons from this pandemic situation, cleansed, humbled, and purified. Pour forth, we beseech you, Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, May, by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Samuel. When King David was settled in his palace, and the Lord had given him rest from his enemies on every side, he said to Nathan the prophet, Here I am living in a house of cedar, while the ark of God dwells in a tent. Nathan answered the king, Go! Do whatever you have in mind, for the Lord is with you. But that night 
the Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go, tell my servant David, Thus says the Lord, Should you build me a house to dwell in? It was I who took you from the pasture and from the care of the flock to be commander of my people Israel. I have been with you wherever you went. I have destroyed all your enemies before you, and I will make you famous like the great ones of the earth. I will fix a place for my people Israel. I will plant them so that they may dwell in their place without further disturbance. Neither shall the wicked continue to afflict them as they did since time first appointed judges over my people Israel. I will give you rest from all your enemies. The Lord also reveals to you that he will establish a house for you. And when your time comes and you rest with your ancestors, I'll raise up you here after you, sprung from your lions, and I will make his kingdom firm. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. Your house and your kingdom shall endure forever before me. Your throne shall stand firm forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The promises of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, My kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David, my servant. Forever will I confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. You shall say of me, You are my Father, my God, the Rock, my Savior. Forever I will maintain my kindness toward him, and my covenant with him stands firm. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, to him who can strengthen you according to my gospel and the proclamation of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery kept secret for long ages, but now manifested through the prophetic writings and according to the command of eternal God, made known to all nations to bring about the obedience of faith. To the only wise God, through Jesus Christ, be glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please rise to honor the Holy Gospel. I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled 
at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called the Holy One, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her, who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. Dear friends, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Come, Holy Spirit, bless this unworthy priest that I may preach with humility and with the heart and not just with the lips. And that the people who listen will listen with their heart and not just with their ears. Come, Holy Spirit. Amen, Lord. Amen. Sisters and brothers, wow, it's five days B.C. Five days before Christmas. It's amazing. It's been nine months. But we are here. And Christmas is in the air. Mm, not, not quite these days. The externals are... All the trimmings of Christmas are, are, not, are not there. Well, subdued. Christmas is in the air. I think what the Lord is telling us is not so much Christmas in the air, but Christmas is in the care. Today, we light the fourth candle. So we started with peace, with hope, with joy, and now the candle of love. What is Christmas? Bottom line, Christmas is about a God who loved the world so much that he gave his only begotten son. That's what Christmas is all about. We welcome this only begotten son who obeyed the will of the Father, who left the comfort zones of heaven, be one like us, to smell like us, and more so, to suffer so much and die a painful, cruel death. Why? Because of love. Let us not forget the reason for everything we have been doing this past Sundays, Advent. Okay, let's make a checklist. Huh? The first candle prepare us is peace. I hope as you listen, you have peace, knowing that you are loved by God, knowing that God loves you and me, no matter how much we have sinned, be at peace with that. And I tell you again, it's better to be presumptuous of God's love 
than to doubt God's love. You know, one time I was praying, and you know, the evil one, the great accuser, those who accuse and keep accusing, usually are playing the game of the evil one that is to accuse. And the evil one whispered to me, Sinner. And in the Holy Spirit, I responded, Sinner, yes, but still loved by God all these years. And the evil one came back again and said, Presumptuous. And in the Spirit, I said, I have believed all these years that it's better to be presumptuous of God's love than to doubt God's love. It's better to believe that the people you love, love you than to doubt them. And then, in the spirit I said, you know what? Even if I am a sinner, I'm not a loser like you. This is what we hold on to, my brothers and sisters. We're not losers. Sinners, yes. Broken, yes. Fallen, yes. But not corrupt, not losers. This is what we believe in. This is what Christmas is all about. And that's about the candle of love. Joy, I hope you're more joyful now. Minus the trimmings. Okay lang. We can be joyful. Christmas is not so much in the air. It's in the heart and it's in the care. And joy, hope, and love. So, you know, just a um, short... Um, you take the word Christmas and Christ and Mass. You remove the Mass, M-A-S. That's what happened in this pandemic Christmas we're having now. M, nawala yung merrymaking. A, the affluence, all the money this time. And S, the socializing. We were always focused on the merrymaking, the parties, the exchange gift. That was Christmas for many of us all these years. Then the affluence. It's all about money. Uh, it's big business for people. And, and um, people have no money, parang walang Pasko. No? The affluence is toned down. And S, the socializing. Oh my God, how we spent time rushing from one party to another. Ganon. Yeah, this is all good. But you see, because of the M-A-S... We forgot the C-H-R-I-S-T, the Christ. Sisters and brothers, let's focus on Christ. Christ is the reason for the Christmas season. There were times when we were focused more on Santa Claus. And we forgot the birthday celebrant. Let's focus on Christ and thank Him. H, let's focus more on the home. Yes. Christmas is a, basically a home event. Let's really turn to each other, express our love, our sorry, our I love yous. Let's build that home. R, we focus on responsibilities. It's time that we take hold of ourselves and say, I'm responsible. We are responsible for Mother Nature. We are responsible for peace. We are responsible. If you're a government official, take responsibility, please. The responsibility. If you're a father, be a responsible father. That's what Christmas is all about. I, in the word crisis, involvement. Christ went out of his comfort zone. And for us, life is one big comfort zone. In your room, 
where you can control everything and everyone, call anyone. You can control even <laughs> the TV, whatever, the aircon. It's just being in the comfort zone. Well, people in the comfort zone are, are blessed, maybe, lucky ones. But usually when you're in your comfort zone, you don't grow. You don't grow. You grow weary. You grow bored. You grow proud, maybe. You grow big. <laughs> but you're not involved. I would like to honor today uh, Father Arnold Biago. He's leaving tomorrow back to his Africa mission. I mean, Philippines is comfortable. This is his home. Uh, he, this is the food he eats, etc. But that's it. Because the Lord also left his comfort zone. We have here a Filipino missionary going back to Congo. This is what it means. This is what Christmas is all about. Going beyond your comfort zones. It's not easy. But hey, if you don't, get involved, you, you stop really growing. You stop really loving. Involvement. S, it's the time for silence. Some peace and quiet. This world is so noisy, even in our minds and our hearts. Quiet down tayo, the silence. Enjoy that. And there find God. And T, Christmas is all about transformation, the conversion, the ongoing, we're work in progress. Remember the song? At, at magbuhat ngayon, kahit hindi Pasko ay magbigayan. Ibig sabihin, yeah, we realize we have to grow and change what we need to change. So, done with the Mass, let's now focus on, on the Christ. It just struck me, uh, Mami Ludi Martinez, the mother of Maita and the siblings, died this week after a lingering illness of cancer. She suffered in silence, in, in pain, but in hope and love. And Maita texted me that the last words of Mami Ludi to her children were magmahalan kayo magtulungan kayo at magbigayan kayo words from a dying mother so my dear friends let's renew especially our mission to love this Christmas season and all throughout the world. And um, speaking of love, uh, Attorney Makalintal, Romy, sent me a story about a, a group of businessmen who were rushing in the airport. They were catching their flight. And according to this story, uh, one of them bumped an apple stand and scattered all the apples, you know. But they were late for the flight, so they ran. Everybody was running. But there was one, one salesman who said, I have to go back. You guys go ahead. Just uh, tell my wife that I cannot make it to this flight. I hope I'll make the next flight. And this guy went out of his way and went back. And when she arrived there, he arrived there, there was this little girl, 16-year-old girl, who was trying to fix, and you know, he realized that the girl was blind. And you know, almost in tears, he tried to put everything, help the girl, and said, and he saw some damaged apples and said to the girl, here's a hundred dollars, you know, to replace. And he just, he just did that. And the girl was crying, blind girl. And as he said goodbye, the, as he walked on, he heard the girl, Sir, sir. He came back and the girl said, Sir, are you Jesus? The girl felt 
love concretely. And maybe that's something we all should always think about. Do people, people feel the presence of Jesus? I hope you have one Christmas moment. Kahit isang one Christmas moment lang when somebody would say, Are you Jesus? When you can make somebody feel loved, feel appreciated, then Christmas has really happened. So my friends, uh, the Annunciation. Oh my gosh. This is interesting. What happened to Mama Mary? Imagine you are like 14 years old and an angel comes and says, You are full of grace. Hmm? The Lord is with you. The first reaction of Mama Mary was, she was greatly troubled. And she pondered, Ano ba tong greeting na ito? And then, the angel said, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Wow, good news. But then here comes the, the next thing. Wow, amazing. It goes on. You will conceive in a womb, bear a son, and name him Jesus. Wow. Instructions, okay. He will be great. He will be, the Lord will give him the throne of David and rule over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom will have no end. Wow. Now here comes Mary. How can this be? I have not any, had any relations with any man. Oh, definitely. I mean, who? Parang ganito, no? You know, the feeling like, oh, ang ganda. May dumating, uy, nanalo ka ng loto. Pero alam mo, may COVID ka. <laughs> Or maybe somebody goes to a priest, Father, mukang ikaw magiging obispo na. Wow, can you imagine the feeling of that guy? But then sabi sa kaya lang may COVID guy. Naku. This is exactly what happened to Mama Mary. And sabi niya, how can this be? Of course, you don't know. Here comes the answer. The Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Ibig sabihin, the Lord will be with you and the Lord will cover you and take care of that. The Lord will be with you and He will overshadow you. Take note, ha? Take note. For example, yung na-COVID. Hindi siya sabihin, hindi bali may COVID ka kasi may vaccine naman at dadaling ka dito. Walang sinabing ganon. Sinabi lang, the Holy Spirit will be with you. I mean, there are no real promises except that the Spirit will be with you and the power of God will overshadow you. This is where the faith of Mary came in. All that she believed in was that the Holy Spirit will be with her and the power of the Most High will embrace her. No clear, you know, walang mga specifics. And this is what real faith is all about. Many times, we don't know the details, but we just say, okay, basta you will be with me, Lord, and you will take care of me. Enough for me to know that I am loved. My dear friends, let us learn from Mama Mary. Because many times, many of us are so focused on what we are grow, going through. We are so focused and here is a thought. Don't worry about what you are going through, but you concentrate on where you are going to where the Lord is leading you. That's faith. Okay? That's why somebody also said, stop asking why. Kung why ka ng why sa buhay mo, why this, why that. It's non-productive. Whenever you go through anything, problems, difficulties, persecutions, 
Stop asking why. Why, Lord? Why? You know, the better question is, okay, where to, Lord? Where are you leading me? That's faith. It's not easy, but again, Mama Mary ended up saying, be done to me according to your word. Total surrender. I have an, an experience. <laughs> Total surrender. Uh, last year, I was in Roseville, California, to visit my niece, uh, Maggie and James and, and um, Olivia. And I had the experience of riding in an electric car. So, Father, sit down. So I sat down. I look at the car. Wow, walang mga dashboard, walang no instrumentation, my steering wheel. <laughs> and then he started the car. I could hear no, no sound. Battery. Wala palang radiator, wala nothing. So I sat down. Umaandar na pala kami, hindi ko alam. So it was all new for me. Wow. And then I thought I, I was already, wow, this is amazing. The next thing that James did really, he put it in the automatic and he removed his hands from the wheel and started talking with me like this. I could change it. You know, everything, your hands are no longer on the steering wheel. That is faith. Okay, I trust in you, Lord. Something like that. If you have never experienced that in your journey to God's heart, it means you're still very much a controlling person. You can still, you know, you want everything. And you know what? The COVID-19 has taught us. There are many things beyond our control. Any one of us can go anytime and it goes fast. All your money can do nothing at the point of death when you're already intubated thing. Wala, wala as in wala. So the sooner we learn what Mama Mary has taught us, the better for us. For indeed, nothing is impossible with God. Nothing is impossible with God. My dear brothers and sisters, today I'd like to ask you, is there anything you think is impossible? Are you asking for something right now? Think of something right now na mahirap mangyari. <laughs> well, I'd like you to surrender that now to the Lord. Nothing is impossible. Okay. I trust in you. Yes, Lord. Believe. Maybe somebody's sick. Maybe you have a sickness. Maybe finances are really down. Impossible ng makabangon. Maybe you, you're giving up on someone na may bisyo na hindi na magbabago. Or maybe yung ugali niya, naku, impossible na. Or maybe, well, mm, siguro, ikakasal pa ba ako? Hindi, impossible na. I don't know. But please remember, Mama Mary's experience. She trusted. She believed and so today, I'd like to end with a simple surrendering to the Lord. And this simple surrendering is filled with gratitude. I'd like to share with you now a song I made years ago. Oh, and I thought it might be good now to bring it out, especially itong pinagdadaanan natin. Join me in thanking the Lord and surrendering to the Lord what is deepest in our heart in a very simple prayer a song that is a prayer Pasco Salamat I invite you to bow your heads and pray with this song surrender everything everyone now to the Lord
Salamat po. And whatever is in our hearts. Panginoon. Lord, thank you for that. Salamat po. Panginoon. At narating muli ang Pasko. Isang taon ang nagdaan, buhay pa rin nag-aalay sa inyo. Salamat po, Panginoon, sa mga biyaya. Salamat din, Panginoon, sa mga pagsubok ko. Salamat din sa inyo, nakasama. Sa buhay ko, wala ko may bibigay, kundi ang pag-ibig ko. At sana'y magkasama. Susunod na Pasko At sa marami pa Pasko Nothing is impossible with God. We now profess our faith and say together, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty. Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, True God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and became man, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken, spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The prayer of the faithful. As the day of the Savior's coming draws near, let us intensify our prayers like Mary, open our hearts to our Heavenly Father. With hope-filled joy, we pray, 
God, source of our joy, listen to our prayer. God, source of our joy, listen to our prayer. Like the Virgin Mary, may the Church, the people of God, be ready to welcome Christ the Savior in their hearts this Christmas and share it joyfully with others. We pray. God, source of our joy, listen to our prayer. Like the Virgin Mary, may government and civil leaders head the message of God's word and serve the common good of all. We pray. God, God source, source of our, of our joy, joy, listen to, listen our, to prayer. our prayer. May the prayers of the Blessed Virgin Mary help the poor, the disadvantaged, the lonely, and abandoned, and may they experience the Lord's consolation through the efforts of people who minister to them. We pray. God, source of our joy, listen, listen to, to our, our prayer. prayer. Like the Virgin Mary, may our families be active in their faith and prayer through partaking of the sacraments, especially the Holy Eucharist and the Sacrament of Penance, and service to the needy, we pray. God, source of our joy, listen to our prayer. May the Lord welcome to the joy of paradise those who have gone ahead of us, we pray. God, source of our joy, listen to our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community in our personal intentions. O Lord, listen to our prayers, which we offer to the intercession of the Blessed Mother. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all grace and to your goodness. We have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, will become, Lord, our bread of life. Blessed yes. be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of divine and work of human hands, it will become, Lord, our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Receive us and peace with this sacrifice we offer you with humble and content. So we all are liberty. Pray with you, friends, that this our sacrifice, our thanksgiving may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. May the Holy Spirit, O Lord, sanctify these gifts laid upon your altar, just as he filled with his power the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us joyfully give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ the Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him. The Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, that he may find us watchful in prayer, exultant in his praise. And so with the angels, archangels, thrones, dominions, and all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim.
two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst. Sisters and brothers, wherever you are, whatever you're going through, the Lord Jesus is with you in this Eucharist in a very special way. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. It is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord, O Lord, until, until you come, come in glory. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, all bishops, the clergy, missionaries, and religious all over the world. Remember, too, Lord, our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, especially victims of COVID-19, especially frontliners who risk and gave their lives so that others may live. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, being married to be co-heirs to eternal life. And we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. God so loved the world, he gave us his only begotten Son. Let us now call on this loving God, our loving Father. Deliver us from all evil, grant us peace, keep us free from sin, and protect us from all anxieties as you wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, and my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us that peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace and the joy of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Whatever you are going through, sisters and brothers, there is reason always to give thanks and to be joyful. Peace be with you and the joy of the Lord be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away, take away the, sin the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Sisters and brothers, wherever you are, welcome the Lord. Jesus, the reason for the Christmas season. Lord, thank you. Maraming, maraming salamat po, Panginoon. Lord, help me, help us. Patulong po, patulong po, Panginoon. And Lord, we love you. Mahal ka namin, Panginoon. Maraming salamat po. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy and grateful are we who are called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am Lord, not worthy Lord. that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ be brought, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at this spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, we bow our heads and put your right hand over your heart. Today, as we come before the Lord, we ask for the grace to be like Mama Mary, to really listen, to really trust the Lord, and to obey the Lord. Help us to focus not so much on what we are going through, but to focus on where we are going to as we are led by the Lord. Let's stop asking why, Lord, why? And just keep saying, yes, Lord, where to, Lord? Where are you leading me, Lord? Are you obeying? And the grace to say yes to many things we don't understand. Many things we cannot explain. So like Mama Mary, we say, Be it done to me according to your word. We pray for this grace. The grace to be more trusting and to be more joyful amidst all the pains, sickness, frustrations, deprivations, poverty. Jesus, 
I trust in you. Mama Mary, I love you. Jesus, I trust in you. Mama Mary, I love you. Jesus, I just trust in you. Mama Mary, I love you. Amen, Lord. Amen. And dear friends, I'd like to invite you December 24, 10 p.m. for the online Christmas Eve Mass at the uh, Divine Word Media, Password TV. So 10 p.m. And it will be also, by the way, starting today at 5.30 p.m., Signal Philippines um, Cable will carry this Mass at 5.30 every Sunday. From, from now on, right? And today, uh, I'd like us all to, well, to listen to somebody who was always behind the scene. But now I would really be very happy for you to get to know uh, Father Arnold Biago. He's leaving already back to Congo tomorrow. So, Father Arnold, do you have a message? Please come and we invite you. Father Arnold doesn't want to be seen, but hey, it's time for you. The people will need to know you and see you, Father. Good morning, everyone. I have no choice now but to be in front of the camera. So I thank everyone of you for... Uh, supporting the live streaming of uh, from Christ the King Seminary from uh, the Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word. We are happy because of your overwhelming support. I am taking this opportunity na magpasalamat sa inyo at uh, higit lalo siguro is to ask for your prayers. Uh, marami sa inyo naririnig ang aking pangalan and now Father Jerry is uh, mentioning it again that I am returning to Congo. Yes, that's true. Ako po ay babalik sa Congo kung saan ako po ay isang uh, Divine Word missionary. Doon po ako nagtatrabaho bilang isang paring SBD na missionary sa Congo, Africa since 2008. Bumalik po ako sa Pilipinas last uh, 2016 para mag ng graduate studies sa management and finance. Natapos ko po yun, ang uh, master's sa management and finance last 2018. At uh, dinderecho ko na magpatuloy uh, pa rin sa doctorate, uh, the same school from uh, De La Salle University. So maraming salamat uh, sa mga professors ko from La Salle. You have helped me a lot. Some are watching this uh, live streaming. So what I would like really to ask again is, please pray for us, missionaries. And thank you for your uh, undying and, and uh, regular and constant support, morally, spiritually, materially, sa aming mga missionaries. Madami po kami, so please pray for us. Alam namin at lumalakas ang aming loob because of your prayers moral and spiritual support and material support. Please be part of our mission by uh, praying for us, supporting us morally, spiritually, and uh, even materially. May God bless you. And uh, Mama Mary will always be with us to pray and embrace us with her maternal care and protection. God bless you all. Thank you, Father. Uh, Father Arnold is uh, from Sosogon. Just Mabalos. Pait sana. And till we meet again. You know, I'm reminded, I read somewhere, there are people who don't come to the stage. You know why? There are people who just open the door for others to get in. 
and they stand there opening the door. Others get in, but never quite come to these states. There are people in our lives who are like that. You can count them and appreciate them, please. And do not sila tiga bukas ng pintuan and they keeping the door open. They're hardly seen or acknowledged. These are the people whom God sees very well. And speaking of comfort zones, can you imagine leaving country, going to Africa? And imagine frontliners, medical frontliners, who go every day to the hospital, risking. I heard, I heard from somebody that about 40% of those who got infected or even died in America were Filipina, Filipino nurses and health workers. That's, that's something. I mean, the sense of loving, the sense of service. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. So we pray for all this and bring this all now in our prayers. Let us pray. Having received this pledge of eternal redemption, we pray, Almighty God, that the, as the feast day of our salvation draws ever nearer, so we may press forward all the more eagerly with the worthy celebration of the mystery of your Son's nativity, who lives and reigns with you in unity, in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We bow our heads in humility and gratefully, joyfully receive the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. We go in peace. And please, make Christmas happen for people around you and with your own self. Our Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Sing a song.